So I'm here with Matthew Lopez. Matthew, how scary was that first round? Uh, it wasn't scary at all, actually. I felt I was winning the round, and then I got dropped, and I kind of went into autopilot. But it wasn't scary because I was just I was just fighting. You know, that's what I do. That's what my training partners, my coaches, I just fought. You know, I got through the round, and you guys, I have the heart of a champion. I don't think anybody in this damn planet could take my heart away from me. So when it comes, uh, push comes to shove, I'm going to get back up and I'm going to fight. That's what I do. Now, how does it feel to get your first UFC win here in the Octagon? Oh, man, it's it's incredible, especially against a guy like Mitch uh, Gagnon. Uh, he's a seasoned veteran. He's, he's went the, pretty much went the distance with um, Henan Burrell. You know, I'm sure a lot of guys aren't looking to take that fight with him. I don't know how many straight wins he had before that, but uh, I'm here for one thing and one thing only, that's to get to the top and... and it, it feels it feels great to get a win, especially over a guy like that. It, it puts me puts me on the map for sure. That's how bad was the the groin shot at the start of the third round? And can I say, yeah, yeah. Go for holy it. shit! Oh. Uh, I guess my cup was a little high, so it went right right under the cup and it caught me square in the nuts. Like in it, it wasn't one of those square shots. It was like where it lifted your nuts and they fell. <laughs> that hurt, it hurt it hurt bad. That was it was, but I knew he was tired. So I didn't want to give him that too much of a break, but I couldn't. I couldn't really. Uh, I wasn't like all there when I when I went back in as far as like being ready to go. Do you think those should be point? I'm sorry, do, you think, do you think those should, that should be a point deduction? You don't. No. Uh, there's a couple instances where people uh, where are, they don't listen to the ref when they say, "Hey, listen, you know, keep your shots low or uh, bring it up to the the waistline." And if it was three times, then yeah. But once, you can't blame me. We're, it's a fuck. It's a fight, guys. Like you know what I mean? Like you can't. <laughs> I couldn't blame him for that. Were you, were you surprised at all? There, were, there was a 10-8 there from w one of the judges. Did you think there was one round that you, could have been a 10-8 for you? For me, I, wasn't there a 10-8? There me? was. Yeah. yeah, I pretty much beat his ass the last two rounds. Mm -hmm. you know. So I think that was warranted. I think I took him down and I stayed on top, uh, I would say, 90% of the round. So And he wasn't doing anything. He was just, when I would take him down, he would hold my wrist so I couldn't get any mm -hmm. shots off. So... Um, in my, in my eyes, it was a 10-8. You moved out to Colorado for this fight. Uh, you trained in full-time with Team Genesis now. How much did that help you in this fight preparation? Uh, I, don't, I honestly don't think I would have won that fight if it wasn't for my coaches, Justin and, and Trevor. Um, I, don't th I think Justin is the best 155er on the planet. And when I get to spar with him and wrestle with him every day, my confidence goes up. And if you guys know anything about Trevor Whitman, he's, he's a mad scientist when it comes to this game. Mental, physical, metaphysical, everything that goes on in this sport, he's got it covered. Um, he's there with me every single day. There's not a day that goes by that he doesn't either send me a text of encouragement, say to a time we're working out, whatever it is. Even if he says, hey, Matt, I need you to do 15 minutes of breathing today on a Sunday. That's what I do. This guy is, um, he changed my life, to be honest with you. So I can't, I can't thank him enough for the things he's done. So we've seen your striking game before. Uh, Mitch Gagnon is a very good grappler. How confident are you just jumping into his world and taking him down and, and playing the ground game? <clears throat> There's not. I, I don't think. I think the most dangerous grappler on at the 135 is obviously. Um, uh, who did I lose to last time? Uh, Hani Aya. Hani Aya. Hani Aya Smart, <laughs> uh, who's he's the scariest grappler I think in the 135 pound division. And I had more submission attempts on him than last fight. I gassed out the last fight. And believe me, I want that fight back. Um, grappling. There's no one. There's no one that's going to come close to me in the grappling game. Now, Hani, I don't live, Hani Aya, that for was him. your first fight in the, in the yes. octagon, too. Was that just octagon jitters that caused you to I blow a little bit too much energy? I was talking to Dana about this, too. Is some people think that um, there's no real, like, there's no real, like, being your first time in the octagon. Mm -hmm. It's real. Like, I went out there, and, and, you know, I saw the UFC name on the top of the little ring, and there was, it was still a prelim, and there was still, you know, 5,000 people out there, and, and, Believe it or not, it, it gets to you. Whether it's subconscious or not, it gets to you. And by the second round, I was I was tired. So um, you can mark my words. I'll see Honey Aya again. What was it like competing in front of the Canadian crowd? They were really getting into it in that fight. So I didn't know that they booed me during the weigh-in. <laughs> and then I really heard it today. So, but it's, guy, this, everybody's been asking me for autographs. I don't know if you guys seen on the way out. Everybody was, like, screaming, like, let's get a picture. These guys are fun. It's uh, I enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, Justin told me right before we walked out to make sure and soak it all in. That's not what I did the first my first UFC fight, and I'm definitely glad I I took the time to uh, take it all in. So 135's got a lot of young lions that are coming up and chomping at the, at the bid. 
Now that you've had your second UFC fight, what do you want for your third one? Well, let's see if I can get back on the on the Denver card. Um, Justin's got a fight coming up um, for New Year's Eve in New York City, so plan to take the couple days off and then come back and help him out with his his training camp. And then whatever they throw at me, as long as uh, it's okay with Justin and Trevor, then I'm in. I don't care who it is.